Question 3. Ming gets $3 more daily allowance than Jem. Each of them spends $5 a day and saves the rest. After some days, Ming saved $109 and Jem saved $79. How much daily allowance does Ming get? Therefore, initially we have to recognize the relationship between the first and the second information. Given that each of them spends the same amount of money, which means this additional $3 will be the additional savings that Ming has more than Jem per day. First step, we have to calculate the difference in total savings between Ming and Jem. The total difference in savings will be 109 minus 79. That will give you $30. Think about it. How do they get to the difference of $30? It must have been built up day by day consistently to reach this amount, isn't it? Again, I mentioned earlier, every single day means save $3 more because it's been given $3 more and they spend the same amount. Therefore, Ming has to save this additional $3. Okay, so every single day, the savings that Ming has is $3 more. So that will be the daily gaps, isn't it? That's going to widen. The first day, Ming's going to save $3 more. The second day, Ming is going to save $6 more. So how many days will it take to reach the difference of $30? That will be our next step. Number of days Ming took to save hundred and nine dollars thirty divided by three that will be ten days. Ten days for Ming to reach one zero nine, ten days for Jem to save seventy nine. Dollars, all right, to reach the difference of 30. Then from here, given that it took 10 days to spend slash save, we can figure out the daily allowance Ming gets. The amount saved per day will be 109 divided by 10. That will give you a day of savings for Ming. And he spent $5 per day. That will give you $10.90 plus 5, $15.90. This will be the amount Ming's get for his daily allowance.